What's up guys? Welcome back to more Star Ocean. Let's see, we've got quite a few manuals that I would like to to use upon my party. Oh my god. Um, Fidel has got, I almost said fate, he's got a lot. He's got four, what about Victor? They kind of share the same. Mirror Blade, Diabolic Edge, Mirror Blade, Abyssal Gate. Okay, so if we teach at Swordsman's Manual 3, okay, we'll give, hmm. Um, with five instant strikes during the last, of which I rush forward to smite your falling foe. So that's a that's a long ranged attack, and then attack in rapid succession while charging forward. Um, okay, I'm gonna teach Fidel the Abyssal Gate. Or no, oh, I don't know now, dude. I'm I'm ah. Uh. <laughs> How about enveloping my damage? Oh man, charge towards an enemy. So that's going to be a long range. Shit, I don't know what I want to do now, man. I hate how you have to pick. I'm sure we'll be able to learn all of all of them in due time. But right now, shit. All right. Uh, so we're going to teach. Miki has race dead. She already has it. If Fiore could learn it, that would make us more efficient. However, if we raised her, like, increased it, it would it, give her better mastery, but I don't know what mastery would do in that situation. Let's teach it to Fiore. Okay. Um, and then these guys, like Hunter's Moon. He's got three, and she's got three. Well. I guess... Damn it, man. I just don't know what to do. Fire a projectile. Okay, let's go Hunter's Moon. Okay. We can also teach him Crescent Wings, but we'll split up what we're going to do here. Acrobat Locus. Just teaching them the things right now is it's hard enough to decide between. Um, and then I guess that doesn't teach a new skill. But we could increase Red Rain on Emerson or a Crescent Locust on Anne. Let's go Crescent Locust on Anne. Um, Fiore, we need to get her a little bit buffed up as well. Man, this is... These are hard to decide between, and I don't... I don't I'm not looking at my guidebook for, um, like, tips or information on how to structure my party. I like to do this, like, on my own. Figure things out. Negate all the beneficial effects on one enemy. Lower all elemental resistance. Okay, let's give her the damaging move. And then give Mickey anything that's like Cure Condition would be good. Radiant Lancer. Wow, she could like have some really good offensive spells too. Let's try that. That sounds really cool. Okay, we've still got a couple more. I can teach her Arctic Impact. She's got so many skills now, I don't even, I can't even equip them all. I, I think that's all we can do between them two. No, we can do, let's teach her, ah, uh, Stone Rain sounds pretty cool. I guess we can also do Volcanic Burst. Is there anything else we can do with Fiore? Or is that, no, Sacred Pain. Lower Elemental Resistance, is that might come in handy? That's going to be like a mage thing, I don't know. I hate to waste a spell book on that. Let's go with Volcanic Burst for her. And if we have any left over, then we'll teach Fiore that um, Sacred Pain. Okay, that's fine. Void would be good too, but Sacred Pain would be like a way to increase damage, which is what I'm always about first and foremost over everything. DPS 101, dude. Okay, now, Fidel, we need to get you five. Let's go Mirror Blade. That just sounds badass. Enough faffing about. Let's make some decisions here. Give him Diabolical Edge. And now we've got a couple extra. We can also teach him Mirror Blade. Okay. Okay, now let me get them equipped. Okay, we finally got them sorted. That was a pain in the ass, man. That was a lot of, like, sorting around and stuff. Let's get to the freaking bridge and continue on with the damn story, man. This is getting really good now. Thank you. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, no wonder why the bridge wouldn't activate anything. I guess we just need to rest. Okay, yes, we will. Oh, I knew something was going to happen. Alert, Damn it. All hands to battle stations. Vecredians, come to the bridge immediately. I repeat, we're on red alert. All hands to battle stations. They left. I hope I don't have to sort out all their moves again. That is such a pain in the ass when it does that. Uh, battle stations? I don't know. I don't have a battle station. I'm going to the bridge, dude. I want to press buttons and fire lasers and stuff, man. Sixteen minutes until contact. Set shields to Omni and phase cannons to automatic aiming. Whatever you do, don't let any shots hit their engine room. Aye, aye, sir. Setting shields to Omni. Putting phase cannons on automatic aiming. Other enemy ships? Our short-range radar detects only the one. It doesn't seem to have rendezvoused with any fleet yet. There's also nothing resembling a base in the area, but there is an asteroid belt. Captain, the enemy has slowed down. Only minutes until contact. Reduce our speed as well, but I don't want to go any slower than double the enemies. Sir! They've warped out and are flying a holding pattern in normal space! Emergency warp out. Enter normal space. Aye, aye, sir. Currently at warp 10. 9. 8. High energy emission from enemy ship. Now 0 0.173 light years away. Hurry, they're gaining the upper hand as we speak. 2. 1. Now in normal space. Engines to half. Evade via course 140. Divert power from gravitic warp engine to shields. Reducing engines to half. Setting course 140. Diverting power from gravitic warp engine to shields. Four incoming torpedoes, currently 30,000 clicks out. It's possible to avoid two of them, but we're assured of taking hits from the remaining two. We'll weather this volley easily enough. Our state-of-the-art shields and output from the gravitic warp engine will keep us safe. All hands prepare for impact. Shield efficiency reduced to 78%, but that figure is rapidly climbing. No problems here. Engines to three quarters. Launch four photon torpedoes on course 90 Mark 90 at 100,000 clicks. Yes, sir. 30 seconds to current destination. <coughs> After that, set engines to full power and take the enemy from behind. Fire phase cannons once we have visual contact, but don't aim for their engines. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, sir. Destination reached. Firing four photon torpedoes. Enemy taking evasive action. Torpedo 70,000 clicks out. Engines at full speed. Fire all phase cannons at the enemy's projected position. Firing phase cannons. The phase cannons all hit the enemy ship, but they seem to have had no effect. So, their shields aren't half bad either. Fire the last four photon torpedoes. Copy that. Firing. They managed to evade the first four torpedoes. The next four at 5,000 clicks. Three made contact with the enemy shields. And? Their shields are in perfect condition. Their speed remains constant. Damn it. It's our newest ship and we're barely treading water. They have quite the shields, don't they? Captain. Now that we can run the Gravitic Warp Engine for extended periods of time, it should be possible to use that energy to launch quantum torpedoes. This ship is equipped with 12 of them for testing purposes. You're right. That last attack should lead the enemy to underestimate our firepower. Hiding quantum torpedoes amidst a barrage of photon ones should also increase the likelihood they'll hit. That's my end for you. Load four photon and quantum torpedoes apiece. Don't forget to set it so they do not target the engine room. Aye, aye, sir. Preparing four photon and quantum torpedoes for launch. The enemy vessel's changing course. Their new course indicates they'll attack, not evade. They think they can take down our shields with a volley of plain old torpedoes. There's no doubt they have this. Fire two photon torpedoes, then fire two quantum ones. Yes, sir. Firing two photon torpedoes. Now firing two quantum ones. Captain, sensors read the enemy has launched eight torpedoes of their own. Take evasive action. Yes, sir. Talk about a bold move. That proves it. They don't think anything of our artillery. 
Photon torpedoes, 5,000 clicks out. Quantum torpedoes, 8,000 clicks out. Enemy torpedoes incoming at 20,000 clicks. The enemy's making no attempt to evade. Photon torpedo contact imminent. Their shields sustained no damage. Still no sign of evasion from them. Quantum torpedo contact imminent. Captain, their shields have been reduced to 11%. We've also confirmed their engines are no longer operational. Yes. And their torpedoes? We succeeded in avoiding all eight of them. What a thrashing. Hold that thought. The enemy ship has lost power and is now caught in a nearby planetoid's gravitational field. What was that? Uh-oh. If that ship goes down, Little Miss Starlight goes down with it. Engines at half speed. Hold it within ten clicks of the enemy. Ten clicks, sir? There's nothing their ship can do to us. It's lost all power and gone utterly silent. Understood. Engines to half speed. We're currently 10,000 clicks out, gradually slowing down. And, once we get within 10 clicks, halt its descent with our tractor beams. Will do. Currently 1,000, 500, 100, 10 clicks away, sir. Secure the ship with tractor beams. Activating tractor beams. Their ship's trajectory has stabilized. I want to talk to their captain. Open a comm link for me. Yes, sir. Sir, there's no response from them. Is it that they can't respond, or that they simply don't want to? We'll have to board them and settle this face to face. Prepare the transporter, and don't forget to investigate the ship's layout. Yes, sir. All right, everyone, to the transport room. Okay, good. Their roles and skills, everything like that is all set. So we need to get, where's the transport room? We're going to board the ship, take it out from the inside. Really is in there. And Feria, I, I, well, we're led to believe that anyway. Delacroix, and I, what's the situation inside the ship? It's lost almost all its power, including the default generator. All that's left is a small reserve, which is connected to the life support system. Then let's hurry. Life support system. That must be for Relia. Oh man, this is getting really good. Come on, hurry up. Prep for transport. All right, time to board the enemy's ship and get Little Miss Starlight back. Okay, energizing. Oh my god, thrown right into battle. Chrono Soldier. Let's see what these guys got here. Oh my god, they just knocked me on my ass. This guy is playing dirty, dude. Alright. Let's see. Let's test out some of my new moves. Get okay, long range. Wait, what the hell happened? I thought I... I changed my moves, man. Hold on. There we go. Death Bomb. No, is my... They're not working. I gotta check that out right after this battle. Oh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Get out of here. Die, bitch! Spam death bomb. Keep going. It's an authority. Beat it. Kick his ass, sea bass. Oh my god, how many dudes are there? Shit. Alright, first things first. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna check out this room up here. I'm pretty sure it's just a safe spot. And the recharge area. Kind of got the same feel as that like ancient research facility and the other ship did. Alright, how big of an area? Oh my god, it's actually pretty big. Good, good. Got our work cut out for us. That means we could have a little bit of fun, do some exploring, get some good items, some good XP. Now let's try out my new mirror blade move. I've got it. 
Okay, um, let's try it out again. I think I missed every single one. There we go. Much better. That is pretty badass. It is pretty long, though, so if you don't use it right, it's going to leave you vulnerable, I'm pretty sure. That guy just got, like, all kind of buffs on him. <laughs> or debuffs. I can't tell which is which yet. I haven't really been paying attention or playing long enough. I could have sworn that's what I just bought. Had I known I was going to get one, I wouldn't have spent money on it. Alright, whoa, shit, it's what... Big old fucking thing. What is this? An eliminator? Oh my god, okay, it's pretty tough. Let's get some long range attacks going on. It's dodging. Oh, what the hell, dude? It's dropping bombs. Fuck. Stop shooting me. Alright, let me... Let me take out all the ads first, see if I can get my party to focus on that big ass thing. Oh, now it's dead, okay. That was a pretty good healing, Mickey. Laser oscillator. I needed those for a quest. I thought I could make those, but we I guess we find them. I don't know how to craft them yet. Alright, what do we got going on? Two of these giant machines. Let's get the smaller guys first. Toy soldier. Oh, what the hell, man? My battle gauge is like crumpling to pieces. Get out of here. Alright, these dudes are pretty tough. I probably... Damn, dude. We're going to be getting our ass kicked in here. I should have grinded a little bit. Fiore, you've got lightning. Use it against the machines. Come on. Well, that works too. <laughs> someone, do we have another dead person? Yeah, Mickey went down. It's important. Got to keep everybody at full health or pretty close to it, especially when fighting, going into new areas underprepared, underleveled. Oh my God! Okay, here we go. Let's get these scholars first. Mages, super dangerous. He's got a shield on! What is this? No! This is nonsense! There we go. Whoever did that, that was badass. Probably Fiore. I've got her super buffed up. But she's gonna burn through MP super fast too, so let's see what happens. Seems to be doing pretty well. She's recovering okay. No, no, get the other gun guy first. He's taking out my healer! Get off her, you son of a bitch! I guess that's my girlfriend now. I don't know. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. Things are getting intense, man. Uh, let's see. We're not quite sort of halfway through with the map. Mirror Blade's fucking badass move, though. I'm really liking it so far. As you can see, I mean, I'm spamming the hell out of it. We're just plucking on through, chugging our way to the end of this thing here. Lots of dudes, lots of combat. Snatch. Oh, these guys are going to try to steal my money. I know, these guys are like the um, equivalent of the little thief guys in the planes now. Than More that. challenges lie ahead. Diffusion device. Okay, I'm gonna have to farm this area for like uh, some of those items I need for quests. Somehow we stunned that that AI guy right there. I don't know how. Oh, you know what? Stone Rain might do it. This is badass, man. Combat looks phenomenal, just with all my party going. <laughs> it's like a damn disco. Carbon filter, anti-paralysis amulet. More little guys. There we 
There we go. Look at that, dude. Jesus Christ, man. That's like an ultimate move. Cloak of the Stars. Uh, I didn't think it would let me jump over there. Uh, let's see what that is. That might be good for... Oh, she's already got one. What about Fiore? I don't know. I don't want to, like, lose too much on her stats. What about... No, not that one. No. Downgrade. Wow, okay. That's... That's kind of shocking, actually, but... We're almost to that damn door. How many more rooms? We've got one, two, three... Three sort of big ones here. Oh, it's another one. Two of these guys. Shit, man. Last time... Got kind of rough on me. Get the Scholar. Boom. Kind of rush in there. Get the Mirror Blade going. And then just air slash her to death. There we go. That worked out pretty well. Let's get the other one, too. Ah. She's sitting there casting spells in my whole party, man. Fuck that. Get out of here. Oh, my God. What's going on? Like, purple shit? No! Get the Scholar. It's almost dead. Let's go. All right. That Eliminator is almost dead. Let's pwn it. Pwned. Okay. Now for the other one. Emerson. God damn it, Emerson. What the hell is your problem? Mickey. Thank you. Oh, fucking Emerson is just taking a beating here. All right, let's bring him back to life again. I'm trying to, like, get him the XP as well. I don't want to lose out on anybody. I'm not ready to retire yet. I am without limits. Well, your old ass almost did just retire, dude. <laughs> We seem to be increasing in power, and I don't know how. I haven't really been upgrading anything yet. Enemies just seem to die easier than they did in the beginning. What do we have? Attack bracelet. I think I've got a couple of those. Alright, that's going to do for today. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Stay awesome, and I will see you next time.